Hello, my name is Igor. Uh, I made this video primarily for my students so they can easier understand those objects from the workbook. But I thought it is a good opportunity to record the full process from design to 3D printing and it will be a good practice for Tinkercad. Here you can see the timestamp next to each object so you can jump to it, uh, any part of the video you would like to see. So let's get started with the first object. I'm starting with a solid box. It's easy to change the dimension because I enabled the snap grid to 1mm. Next to it I will place another box but this will be a hole shape because when I place it inside the previous one after combination of two objects I will subtract the hole from the solid object and this is what we have. Now only I have to create that hole. I'm using the cylinder which is also a hole shape changing the dimensions and I will place it over the previous object but here I have to change the view from the perspective to the flat view and I can easier move the object and this is the front view now this is the top view this is the view from the right and this is the view from the left side And after 3D printing, this is in three dimension, the final object. And here I'm starting with the cylinder, which is a solid shape. I'm rotating it. And inside this shape, I will create another cylinder, which will be a hole. I could use the align tool if I select both objects it will be easier but I will show that in one of my next videos. Here I'm snap to grid on one millimeter so it's easy to use it manually. Okay another object I will need it is a box. I'm changing the dimensions. And now I need that uh, triangle based prism in the middle of the object, just changing the dimensions and then I will place it over the object. A little bit lower. After combination, here we have this object. This is the front view. This is the view from the right side view from the left side and this is the top view. And after 3D printing approximately take, it take one hour. This is the final 3D printed object. Okay, for the third object I'm starting again with the box and next to it I will place another box, a smaller one. And I will use a cylinder body to add the end of that side. I'm using, I'm in a flat view for easier manipulating this object. And I'm preparing a hole shape cylinder to create that hole. And then I have to cut that uh, hole in the middle of this object on the top. So I'm creating uh, another sh hole shape box, changing the dimensions. And of course, bottom of this hole is a cylinder. Let's move it. Okay, and only I have to do that cut on the edge. Uh, in other CAD software, it's called chamfer, and uh, unfortunately here we don't have this tool, so I have to do it manually. It's whole shape, yes. And after combination of all objects, we have the final product. This is the front view. This is the view from the right side. This is the view from the left side. 
and this is the top view. And I trimmed the printed this object too. And here how it looks like in real life. That would be the first lesson from the Tinkercad. I will have at least 20 objects more from these four books. So uh, keep tuned. See you in the next video. Bye.